Totem Tale by Deb Vanassi. Deep in a cedar forest stood a totem pole, stark and still. Long ago, a carver stacked the totem animals and then forgot them. One night, the moon rose low and full. Washed in the light of moonbeams, the totem sprang to life. Frog leapt and twirled, kicking the stiffness from long legs tucked up tight for countless years. Beaver waddled to the stream, delighted in the loud slap of his tail against the water. Eagle swooped and dove with outstretched wings, silvery salmon darting beneath her looming shadow. Grizzly wriggled his back against a tall tree, growling with the relief of a long itch, finally scratched. Wolf lifted her voice toward the moon, howling with the pure joy of silence broken. Raven strutted, cocking his head and chattering to himself. All too soon, a hint of dawn brushed the blackened sky. The totems must return to the pole or the rising sun will trap them in the land of in-between and never there. But none of them could remember how they fit, and each wanted the place of honor at the top of the pole. I'm the largest and the loudest, Grizzly roared. He shimmied to the top, but the pole swayed back and forth beneath his weight, and the totems toppled to the ground. I'm a fearless hunter, said Wolf. With a quick scamper, she took her place on top, but her sharp claws dug into the thin skin of Eagle's neck, and down they went, one after the other. I have the sharpest eyes, bragged Eagle, stretching her great wide wings to claim the highest spot, but her tail feathers tickled Wolf's nose, and a loud kerchoo sent them tumbling again. I felled the tallest tree, said Beaver, lumbering up the pole, but he wasn't used to sitting up so high. After a teetering moment, he rolled off, taking the others with him. Who sings the sweetest song of night, asked Frog. I don't see what singing has to do with it, grumbled Wolf, but she crouched to let the others climb up. With a skip and a hop, Frog leapt to the very top, where she danced an excited jig that made the pole quiver and shake till they all fell down. There's something you've forgotten, squawked Raven, shaking his head. Together we told a story. A story of how Frog muddied the water to hide Beaver from danger, and how Beaver dammed the stream so Eagle could fish from a quiet pool, and how Eagle led Grizzly to a wide patch of berries, and how Grizzly shared his den with Wolf one cold winter night. The totems looked at each other, nodding and remembering. They took their story places. Frog, then Beaver, then Eagle, then Grizzly, then Wolf. It was a perfect fit. Then Raven flapped and fluttered to the top as the first sunbeams shimmered over the horizon, casting the broad light of day on a story that will last forever.